Hello, I hope you're doing well. My name is Lila. In the last video, we talked about the importance of building an email list for email marketing and things you must know before starting to build your list. In this video, we're going to talk about premium freebies or called lead magnets, the free gift you give to people in exchange of their email list. I'm also going to talk about which ones are most effective. So here is how you create a premium freebie to be used in email marketing. Here are the six tips for a high quality lead magnet that is irresistible. First, it must solve a problem. You have to ask yourself what does the freebie solve? The second, it has to solve only one piece of the puzzle. You don't want to give away all what you know for free, but give them solution to one problem at a time. Also, it must be easy and quick to digest. You should take in consideration both desktop and mobile users. It has to be of high value. Otherwise, people will unsubscribe from your list. It must help them in some way. One thing that might be obvious is it has to be instantly accessible. The lead magnet has to be accessible to be downloaded instantly. Like, send them an email immediately after they subscribe. The sixth one is it has to have a clear call to action. After it delivers the value, the lead magnet should have a clear call to action. Either answer some questions that can help either answer some question for you to help you understand the audience more or to follow you on social media or to share the lead magnets or some links with their friends or offer them the product or the service with some discount. So what can you offer as a free digital product to build your email list? I'll start with the least to the best effective lead magnets for email marketing or digital marketing in general. So as a lead magnet, you can offer webinars, eBooks, strategy session, audio files, checklists, guides or blueprints, cheat sheets, mini courses, templates, planner, or you can provide a high value such as a plugin or a or free tool. But bear in mind, not all of them give the same value or quality of lead. So let's get started. Webinars. Webinars are free videos that are best suited for marketers who have excellent public speaking and convincing skills. At the end of the webinar, usually the speaker offers the listener to buy their course. Webinars still work in certain niches, but are usually lengthy and people have to stop what they're doing to watch it. Unfortunately, a lot of scammers are using webinars to sell their low value, high price courses. So webinars started to be associated with, with sales pitch and with scammers. I would personally stay away from webinars and lengthy video training unless you are providing a value pack training at a reasonable price and you are confident you will get high conversion rates. Ebooks. Ebooks are by far the most used in digital marketing and email marketing as lead magnets. They have been used for a long time and are effective in certain niches, but they still need to be read and take people's time, especially when they are lengthy. And so it gives people that that is a waste of their time. Also, there's no much action that can be taken after reading a book unless you use this new strategy that, that some marketers use, and that is inserting some links, clickable obviously links or videos that lead them to, to buy something from you. Strategy sessions and free consultations. Strategy sessions and free consultations are known to be direct sales calls, not effective unless your business or brand is well known and have a good reputation. In this case, people will be happy to have a free consultations with you. Audio files. Audio files or MP3 files are easier to consume and people can listen to them while doing other things. For example, if you're doing affiliate marketing, you can record interviews with products or creators to get more attention from the listener as they are the experts in their products. You can contact the product makers and invite them to record an audio and should be interested. They should be interested and accept to record the video as it helps them sell their products, obviously. So depending on what you're trying to sell, MP3 files may be suitable for you. Checklists. Checklists are the most effective and they are actionable and quick and easy to read and also easy to make. 
beginners usually would be interested to check the steps or bullet points before, say, starting their brand or business, or maybe as simple as setting up an ad campaign. It prevents them from making mistakes or missing some important steps. So checklists are one of the best lead magnets, in my opinion. Guides and blueprints. Guides or blueprints are the best lead magnets and they are proven to work. People like to follow steps that other successful people who had a desired result are looking for. So you can create a blueprint or a guide by by breaking the process into steps. People don't have time, even if they do, they start searching for solution to their problems and they can easily be overwhelmed. So if you make it easier for them by documenting the path to their desired results with steps that are actionable, they can convert much easier this way. You can go deep and explain the problem they're facing. If you understand their problems and know how to explain it, they will believe you have the, you have the solution to their problem. Obviously, your conversion rates will be higher. Templates. Templates are valuable as they give the feeling of ease of implementation and guarantee results can customize the template according to the needs. So this is one of my favorite lead magnets. Mini course. A mini course takes time to make it. A mini course is usually created in the form of video, preferably a short one. It can be effective if value packed and helps the listener solve some of his issues. So you may consider a mini course. If you are new to email marketing and you have no idea where to start, I suggest to create an easy to produce and easy to consume freebie, such as one page checklist or a template and try it. If it works, you can optimize it as you get more experience. If it doesn't work, try other forms and test as you go, because what don't work for others might work very well for you and vice versa. But the most important thing to always bear in mind are the six criteria I mentioned earlier in this video. Quality, not just of the content, but you should have a decent and simple graphics and well-written material that is grammatically correct with no mistakes. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or additions, please put them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.